Greetings, adoring fans. Welcome to a brand new installment of Ask Iggy, where I answer all of your urgent science and medical questions. Unless you're bleeding, and then you should call 911. Today's first question comes from at Ellen Treya. Why are my arms and legs always eaten up by bugs more than anyone else in my family when we go outside? I hate it. Well, Ellen Treya, the answer is simple. You're delicious. Actually, there are several reasons why those little buggers might be attracted to you more than your mom, siblings, or animal friends. Maybe it's your blood type. O is the most seductive for the blood suckers, followed by B and then A. Or you're hot. Like, like overheated, don't be gross. After you exercise, lactic acid builds up in your system, actually raising your core body temperature, making you a beacon for bugs. Now finally, I hate to break it to you, but maybe your feet smell? The bacteria that grow on your feet and make the sweet aroma my lab partner complains about draws them in like a moth to a flame. To a foot. You get it. My recommendation? Be sure to stay cool, clean, and slather on bug repellent before you go outside. Or, even better, stay inside and catch up on episodes of Ask Iggy and Frankenstein MD. Next, at Becca Bumblebee wonders, why do your ears pop at high altitudes? I hear you, Becca. See what I did there? The eustachian tubes here in your inner ear regulate pressure so it matches the air pressure outside of your body. I guess you can't really see in there, but trust me. Anyway, the tubes can be slow to react. Air pressure in high altitudes is less than at sea level. If the change is sudden, like during an airplane takeoff or driving up a mountain, the eustachian tube can't keep up and has to fully open for a moment to let air into the middle ear and equalize the pressure. That's the unsettling sound you hear when your ear pops, like so. Okay, I can't seem to make my ears pop, hang on. If it turns out you can't make your ears pop but want to relieve the pressure, I recommend what's known as the valvasa maneuver. This is when you pinch your nose, close your mouth, and then gently exhale through your nose, like so. Oh man, it's even more pleasant when your fingers smell like tacos. Ah, delicious. And that's it for today's installment of Ask Iggy. Hit me up on Twitter with more of your science and medical questions, or if you want to go get some tacos. Either way, really. Thank you.